one thing that defines us as living beings is that we have to depend on food. There's food for the body and food for the mind. And food for the mind is the most important. Sometimes we can depend on the strength of the body, but sometimes the body is not there for us to depend on. It gets sick, it gets old, it gets injured. So we really have to depend on the mind, because that doesn't have to get sick and old and injured. So we have to feed it well. We feed it with our intentions, we feed it with our, the things we think about, the things we focus on, and we look at the world around us. But most importantly, we, we feed on our intentions. The better our intentions, the healthier the mind will be. So right now, make the intention that you're going to stay with the breath and intend to follow the Buddhist teachings on how we can get out of suffering. Part of that is developing right concentration, staying with one object, and being on good terms with it. Again, if you're going to be feeding off your breath, feeding off your intentions, you want the breath to be comfortable. You want the breath, your intentions to be happy to be here. Otherwise, you're going to go looking for food someplace else. So experiment with your breathing. Notice what feels good right now. Long breathing or short, fast or slow, heavy or light, deep or shallow. You can experiment as much as you like and choose what you like. The important thing is you find something that is good to stay with. And the better it is for the body, the easier it will be to stay here. So focus on the breath and any intentions that will go someplace else, regard that as junk food for the time being. You're trying to develop good, healthy food nourishing food, food that strengthens the mind. And as you go through the day, remember that you're feeding off of your intentions. So be careful to notice what your intentions are. And if you find yourself feeding off of other junk food, okay, remember you've got good food right here. Maintaining the intention to get the mind settled in a good foundation. The Buddha gives instructions on right mindfulness, which are basically his instructions for how to get the mind into concentration. You keep track of the breath. You're mindful, you're ardent, and you're alert. You're mindful, in other words, you remember to keep the breath in mind. You're ardent to do this well, and then you're alert to notice what you're actually doing. And if it's not coming out right, then you make some changes. It's like cooking food. You taste it, if it's too salty, too sweet, where you can make conversations. You are the cook. So cook your food well, because the health of your mind depends on it.